What's going on? So it's been a couple weeks since I've done one of these videos. I do apologize for that. I am almost doing my best at least to make sure I get these out on a weekly basis, but every week I'm, I'm just battling with this just intense desire to not want to do these videos. And so unfortunately some of those weeks that intense desire wins out, uh, but I'm doing my best to beat that desire into submission uh, with the creation of positive habits that uh, move us forward. And uh, so I, I will do my best to keep, keep doing this on a weekly basis, but uh, especially since it seems like we have something new every week where uh, we have either some sort of cool good thing that's happening or not so good thing that's happening. And, and unfortunately, this video is more about uh, a negative than a positive event that we've been dealing with for the past couple of weeks here. It's actually led partly to me not wanting to do these videos at the moment and because uh, it's a hard thing to talk about. It's uh, I, I guess ultimately what it is, is uh, my partner and I have decided that we are going to start heading in different directions as far as what we want to do with our time. Um, and we had a conversation a couple weeks ago that was, I, I sensed this kind of for a while now, as far as the misalignment with our perspectives on and, and what we wanted to be doing or what we spend our time doing. and. You know, it's it's something that's not easy for startups uh, to handle that that type of misalignment with co-founders. It's co-founder issues are one of the main issues apparently that startups fail, and so I, I wanted to have this conversation with him uh, so that we could kind of head this off at the pass. So it didn't become something that ultimately erupted out of nowhere. And we had a good conversation. We had a productive conversation about, you know, what it is we wanted to do, how we wanted to spend our time, uh, and and that not being in alignment. And we came to an agreement on the future of the business as far as it looks like we'll be now looking for somebody to take over his responsibilities on more of a full-time basis for the requirements of building this business into what it can be ultimately become, uh, which. I am more optimistic about than ever, despite this this situation. Um, but it's going to require so much time and, and effort and investment to to get us there. And you know, my partner just he likes what we're doing. He likes the business, and and you know, he, he apparently doesn't have any hard feelings towards me, at least as far as I can tell. Um, and but he just he just doesn't want to go along for that ride. And you know, that's it is what it is. You know, you can't fault somebody for for not uh, you know wanting to to take on that type of burden. Um, it, it's my failure more than anything that I didn't get this type of alignment initially when when we first crafted our um, you know, co-founder agreement or our, our original agreement. And so this is a learning experience for me as far as, you know, when you're first uh, dealing with the idea or at least, you know, maybe you might be interviewing co-founders or however you're going about it, really, you really want to make sure somebody is aligned with your vision, your expectations of the work required and the effort level uh, more than anything. And, and what's the expectations, I think the expectation setting from the beginning is really a great way to avoid this type of situation. Um, I sense, I've sensed this for a while that we haven't been quite aligned and uh, you know, we just officially had a conversation about it because I believe the business is getting to a level where it just needs more attention. It's it's going to uh, it, we're growing and it's exciting, but it's it's just going to become more of a burden. At least if you're not or <laughs> looking at you're going to be looking at it as more of a burden if if it's not something you want to be dedicating 100 percent of your time to, and and so uh, that's just where we are today. And this is one of those situations, obviously, where startups oftentimes fail. Uh, Co-founder issues are again are they're just they can blow up in a rage or in a fit of emotion, you know, whatever it is, we, I think, approach this pretty mature, uh, in a pr mature fashion, at least. And uh, we are seeing eye to eye, at least as far as how we handle this going forward. So he's going to keep working with us. Um, and, you know, I'm going to be looking for somebody to handle that, that heavier burden of uh, scaling the business. And while I'm, and, and then he'll help integrate that person, whoever that ends up being. Um, so it's not like we're, 
without someone right now, but you know, it's, it still feels a little lonely. Uh, you know, obviously it, it feels lonely to go down this road in the first place. And, you know, as, uh, obviously losing a co-founder is not, um, or it's not enjoyable to go through. It, it sucks, but, um, you know, this is, this is just entrepreneurship in a nutshell, right? You encounter one problem, you overcome it, then something else comes along and, uh, you know, you got to overcome that too. And then you know, if you overcome enough problems along the way, then presumably, uh, you will have, a good business on your hands, uh, or at least the potential for a good business. And I, I believe we have that. So that's, that's the main thing uh, we're dealing with right now. I'd say, again, in order to avoid this for yourself, uh, as far as uh, just something that can be avoidable, uh, it is something you should address up front. You know, make sure somebody's aligned with you. Really understand and make sure they have an understanding of your vision, where you want to take the business, what it's going to take. Talk about equity. Talk about the hard, uncomfortable conversations. If you have those conversations up front, it's going to save you a lot later on. I wish I would have done a better job of that, but you know, you live and learn. Now I know for next time, and uh, yeah, I look forward to at least growing this business and finding that person uh, to take that side of things, knowing what I know now and uh, being much more clear about what it is the business needs. So it's not all negativity, but it's certainly not a great situation. Either way, that's what I have for this week. Thanks for watching and see you next time.